Nice to meet you, everyone. I am Dr. Li Tao, the corresponding author of the study, titled Conservative Femoral Revision Using Short Cementless Stems with a Tapered Rectangular Shape for Selected Paprosky 2-4 Bone Defects, an Average 7-Year Follow-Up. In our study, we aim to evaluate the effectiveness of short cementless stems with a tapered rectangular shape in treating femoral bone defects classified as Paprosky 2 to 4. Traditionally, long stems are used for severe femoral bone defects, but they come with significant drawbacks, such as further bone loss, intraoperative fractures, and increased surgical trauma. Our approach, using shorter stems, aims to minimize these issues while providing stable and effective outcomes. We conducted a retrospective analysis of 73 patients involving 76 hips who underwent conservative femoral revision between January 2012 and December 2020. The majority of these cases involved aseptic loosening with a smaller portion due to prosthetic joint infections. The stems used in our study were from three different companies, with the SLR Plus, SL Plus MIA, and Corail stems being the most commonly employed. Our findings were promising. We observed a low subsidence rate of 3.9%, with all stems achieving stable bone ingrowth. Proximal femoral bone restoration was seen in 88.2% of the hips, and there were no cases of stem fractures or loosening. The mean Harris hip score significantly improved from 32 preoperatively to 82 at the last follow-up, indicating substantial improvement in joint function. We did encounter some complications, including infections and dislocations but these were relatively few. The mean five and 10 year revision free survivorships were 94.6% and 93.3% respectively with a 100% survivorship for aseptic femoral loosening. In conclusion, our study demonstrates that conservative femoral revision using short cementless stems with a tapered rectangular shape can provide excellent radiographic outcomes, improve joint function, and favorable midterm survivorship with minimal complications. It's crucial to follow strict selection criteria to ensure the best outcomes for patients with Paprosky 2 4 bone defects. Thank you for your attention.